So Tamika Scott, one fourth of Escape, is finally speaking out and dropping the receipts on her sister, Latasha Scott, and brother-in-law, Rocky Bivens. Now the world knows that you are a liar that is doing a gospel album. <laughs> Thief. Stealing from the church. Stealing from your sister. Stealing my identity. But what you won't do is steal my pride. Go ahead. Leak the tape that you said you lost. Go ahead. Embarrass your niece. Go ahead. Because you really don't care nothing about them because you wouldn't never stole from them in the beginning. Go ahead and watch what God does. God don't play about me. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So we already knew that this was coming because Latasha Scott is on the promo trail for her gospel album. Oh my. It's me. Hi, mm -mm. I'm the problem, it's me. Ain't no good gonna come to you, Latasha. And ain't no good gonna come to your, to your husband. But everyone has been saying at this point, Tamika's just gonna have to drop the receipts and that's exactly what she did. Right before we were about to go live to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. But I've pushed that back because I've made this priority. And you guys will let me know if we should do a Kempire Town Hall. It's been a while since we've done one. And we need to talk about this situation. You'll let me know in the comment section. But let's get to Tamika's receipts. And honestly, it is pretty shocking. She's saying that it actually wasn't $30,000. She's saying that it was actually more. And her sister is lucky that she just said $30,000. She even pulls out Tiny's mom in this video to talk about what it, the whole process of how this money was found through Sound Exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for Sound Exchange. And um, I, I sent all the paperwork. And Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me, when, she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then. Mm -hmm. and, and I still have the paperwork. And I filled it out and I put it, her address was all in New York and everything. Tamika, my, my Tamika had gotten her checks and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to $20,000 the first time. They got a lot of checks though. And Tamika said, I didn't get my checks. And I said, well, you should have. I said, cause Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line and we talked to, this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away, but back then, he was the person we talked to and he talked to Tamika and she asked him questions about her checks and he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, yeah, so he, sent, I just, he sent copies. He said something about your sister and Rocky. Mm -hmm. uh, Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash and checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute him. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in, which was my sister. And I will be put, showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. And I, you're going to see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they, that they had proof. They thought it was you and everything. And, but there's only reason that, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie. And you're going to see with the receipts. And if it wasn't for Miss Diane, none of us, me, Candy, my sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, we, my husband with the Tams, I signed them up and I, that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound, Sound Exchange. Thank you for, for doing that because we've all, we're still getting <laughs> checks today. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Get them checks. Yes. Love you. She has no ill will towards Latasha. She loves all of them. 
And that's the thing about this group escape. Even though they have issues internally when it comes to the business and when it comes to this group, I still feel the love between all four of these, well, okay, three of the women. Because I don't feel like there's any love from Latasha. And that's sad to say. So she first starts off with this video, dropping her, her receipts. And I told you, when we talked about Tasha K's conversation with Rocky Bivens, when he slipped in, oh. You see what the big the big news is, right? About you still, stealing the $30,000? No, about, now the news is, uh, Tamika, my sister-in-law, was sending me naked pictures. Uh, Todd sucking a tranny's dick. And Tiny in trouble. That, oh, that's about to be the biggest news today. Tasha K, like all of us, are thinking, oh, the $30,000, not about unique in, in this baby mama mistress situation? And he was like, no. And he was using Tasha K's platform to spread this false information because I was like, I didn't hear anything about Todd. And mind you, I didn't even realize he was talking about Todd, Candy's husband, um, sucking on some tranny, tiny, got some stuff going on. Oh, uh, my, my sister-in-law sending me naked photos. Okay. So, okay, I don't even know where to begin because there's just so many receipts. Let first, I will get to that in just a second. So first, Tiny Mom breaks down on exactly how they discovered this, this new money for more money royalties for the group. And she's the one who put in the paperwork and she talks about that process. And they also talk about how Tamika finds out that I'm not receiving my checks. I didn't receive anything. So Tamika lays out all of the literal receipts of how the information was changed, the check, she posts it all. She even mentions that she says it's her sister who changed the manager on these documents. So she's allegedly accusing her sister of being directly involved. You know, at one point we were like, well, you know what? Maybe Rocky did it and Latasha had no idea. The same way Latasha was just signing that one loose leaf of paper uh, when it comes to her recording contract. We'll talk about the recording contract that was supposed to be for Latasha and Tamika. And apparently she stole that too. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. And you know who the fifth member actually is going to be, probably? The police or the IRS? I am the fifth member. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Hell no. So she lays out all the receipts. Tamika lays out all the receipts. And I, I will, I have to kind of look through them. I will post them up here. But either way, you know we cite our sources. Go over to her page. Give her a view. Give her uh, the likes. Give her a subscribe, all of that. As always, what we what do we do here? We cite our sources. That will be in the description. So she lays out all the receipts in regards to how this was done. And she says that it was actually more than $30,000. She does not give the actual amount that it was. Well, speak on it. But it was more than $30,000. And apparently she's saying that her sister changed some of this information on here. Then she goes into a tape that she made when she was in her 20s, where she, first of all, I love Tamika. You know, she just owns it. And look, Rocky, Latasha, if this tape even makes it to the light of day, we know who did it. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. And I don't know the corn revenge laws in Georgia, if they even exist. But tread lightly. Can someone Google schmoogle that? Miss Esquire? No, I'm not <laughs> Miss Esquire. All, we have plenty of attorneys that follow the channel. What are the laws on stuff like that? Because at this point, I have to say one thing, though, Tamika. Because you know I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> if I ever, and I have not, if I ever made a tape of that sort, I am not giving it to my sister. <laughs> so for me, that part was a little strange. I'm going to give it to my sister. I wish you would have clarified why exactly you're giving your sister this situation i understand maybe you don't want it in your house but i would get a safe deposit i would destroy that vhs tape Ooh, a lot going on look look look, look, look. we're going way back she said that she was in her 20s she's damn near 50 she says looking good well she says when she went back for the tape her sister says someone stole it yeah rocky she also said that her sister exposed herself because she has been receiving 
anonymous text messages with threats from people. And the same things that are said in these anonymous texts are also being said in Latasha's recent PSA. If you got family like this, this is why, you know, when we talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey, we talk about siblings, and, and I know it's very much in our culture, like, oh, no matter what, that's family, that's blood, you don't talk about these things in public. I'm glad she is so she could protect herself, protect her life, protect her money, protect her identity. Oh, my gosh. At this point, I'm glad she's speaking public about it because now that all eyes are on it, if that if, if that video is leaked, I want every single media source to ignore it. Make it seem like it's the worst thing in the, like, nope, nope, we're not going to. Nope, we're not talking about it. We're not. No. Can we all make that promise? Bloggers, media outlets, YouTubers, content creators. We're not talking about it. So the big aha, the big. Not in 2023 when OnlyFans and people are making a, a good hot million off of it. <laughs> Matter of fact, send it to, to Tamika so she can release it herself. Go ahead, make, make, get your money, girl. Get your money. I love her humor about it. She was just like, I was in my 20s. I thought I looked good when I was doing it. So they're allegedly using this over her head. So you learned a lot, Rocky, from working with R. Kelly, apparently. So it doesn't end there. <laughs> the gospel deal. So you know in Latasha's PSA, she talked about this gospel album was supposed to be for us. It's supposed to be for family. See, this is where the receipts start making more sense on Tamika's side or Candy's side because they are actually, it, based on what we've seen, it looks like they're telling the truth because for us, it's like, oh, that makes sense. When the ta Latasha tells her side, I'm like, well, something's missing. Yeah, the truth. So Tamika says this gospel deal, yeah, this gospel deal with Motown Gospel was supposed to be for the both of us. And my sister stole that too. <laughs> No good gonna come to you, Latasha. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. You are the problem. And Tamika says, how can you even be here putting out a gospel album? And you're lying? You're trying to make me look crazy in these interviews? You're, you're bringing up things that I said about Candy in defense of you so I wouldn't be alienated from the family? But we all knew that. And thank God they did this reality show. I know they didn't want to do it and they ended up doing it and now all of this has blown up. No, it's revealing to Mika what needed to be revealed. It's protecting you. It's making the audience see what exactly has been playing out on the show, even in the most recent episode with Latasha, being a little upset that Tamika is coming and being involved in the creative. She's like, oh, she's moving me out of the creative like she moved me out of the sisterhood. No, you mean her biting to everything that you say and do. So according to Tamika, this gospel project was supposed to be for the both of them. It was supposed to be some, something they were doing for their grandmother. And the minute that Tamika was like, well, I want to be involved in everything. I want half of this and half of that. And Latasha lost her mind, according to Tamika. And if we didn't see this reality show, we wouldn't, we, we'd probably be like, well, maybe. I think we would probably would be like, I don't know. I'm, it's like your word against hers. But we literally have seen this play out on this escape in SWV reality show, The Queens of R&B. We literally just saw this in this past week's episode. So I believe Tamika. Tamika has found her voice. And I know some of you are like, damn, it took her a long time. Some of y'all are still trying to find your voice. So I am so happy for Tamika. Look, I could get emotional how, because I can only imagine the freedom. It's like coming out of the closet. <laughs> come on, come it's on. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. It's like coming out of the closet. She probably feels so free. Tamika, don't go back in. Look, don't go back in. Come on out. Be yourself. Be happy. And sometimes being happy means disconnecting yourself from the toxic people in your life. And sometimes those people look and have same DNA as us. So she drops all of the receipts. Again, guys, as always, I'm citing my sources in the description. I'm just giving you a sample of what was in this video. But I think I touched on all the points. Ain't no good gonna come to you, Rocky. Ain't no good gonna come to you, Latasha. Just saying. 
Guys, as always, I want to know, should we do a town hall? Because I know you guys have lots of thoughts, lots of thoughts. And we could probably cover some other hot topics from the week. It's been a while since we've done a Kempire, Kempire town hall. But let's continue this conversation for those that want to have the conversation in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Latasha. Ooh, you bring the lighter. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow my lead.